Got it. It's back. It's back. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us on this fine Friday evening. I'm 40k after dark. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash all the magical YouTube buttons. I keep going on about it, but actually it's starting maybe to help the subs a little bit, perhaps. And the likes have been good recently. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you much, so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for doing all the YouTube things. I have my Vikings blood mead back. That makes me very happy. Just going to pour it. Much of it. I had a horrific night's sleep last night. Horrific. I'm not muted. Don't lie to me. I can see. Don't lie to me, Kyle. Kyle. Were you on mute? Is that what the problem was? Uh, I had a horrific night's sleep last night, so I am baggage today, but... Cheers. Did a bit more airbrushing. Ooh, I've missed this. I've missed it so much. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. A big cheers to Philip Scott, who became a Haskal tier member all by himself before the stream even started. Chris, who then gifted five of the finest memberships. Thank you so much, Chris. And Brandon for the one gifted you hero. It'll come through on my tracker sometime soon. Thank you so much for the extra gifted. Thank you so much for seven gifted members off the bat chat. You guys are amazing. I love you. Big Bad Peter Gaming, thank you for the gifted as well. You're a hero. How are you all doing, people? How are you all doing? It hasn't registered Brandon's, which is annoying. It hasn't shown up on my little screen. It has given one out, though. I'll just do it manually. It gets really finicky at the start. Like, Nightbot gets pissy at the start of the stream. What, you want me to work again? Yes, I do. Yeah. How are we all doing anyway? Switch the top down. Sick monkey, you can fuck off. All right? Otherwise, we need to get the rub and be right back. You having a tip all tonight, Luz? Uh, don't worry, she'll be unmuted in a minute. But she has to move that microphone. I don't, I don't trust that cable. You what? I can't be asked. You can't be asked to have a drink? No, I can't be asked. I can't be asked, is it? I don't understand. My arms hurt. I have a hair in my mouth. Have you been cooking again? Stick Monkey, thank you for the 10 gifted. Taby, thank you for the 1 gifted. Look at you people. They're starting strong tonight, at least, on Friday. Friday night's a strong start before they all get fatigued and go, uh, by the end of the night. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't really... Do you know what, chat? I don't really um, have much in the way of 40k to talk about tonight, if I'm honest with you. I'm open to topics. I'm open to conversation. You can throw things at me and perhaps we can talk about it. Uh, but a, a Thane threw a suggestion out there in the WhatsApp group earlier today. I think it was a jokey one. Like, what would be the collective noun for a group of war gamers for a topic? And I, I was like, you know what? I, fuck, I like it. Fuck it. I have one. I'm into it. Luke87 has become a Thane. Talking of the Thanes, we have a new one. Oh. He gets to come and join the Not A Cult. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Luke, you legend. Thank you so much for becoming a Thane tier member. It is incredible the amount of Thanes we have. The rest of the Thanes will now get crazy excited. There's a new one coming. You have to come into the group chat via a link in WhatsApp, which you can find in Discord, at which point they'll ask you your shoe size, how many inches you measure, where you live, uh, what the IP address of your home network is so they can log into your cameras. They're very intrusive, the Thanes, just to warn you off, all right? <laughs> but welcome, Luke. Thank you so much for becoming a Thane tier member. Neil, thank you for the five gifted. Buckshot, thank you for five more gift. Holy fuck. What's going on? What are you going to say? Oh, I you have... had one for a collective yeah. noun of... <laughs> this is just exciting. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. A procrastination. Uh, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> 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 that's a very accurate one, actually. I, I am 100% of being guilty of that. You're currently making packing for my move better. Where are you moving to, Tay? Locally or, like, across the country? Where are you moving to? What are you moving for? Why are you moving? See, we're all intrusive. I want to know. I'm Great Liam, painting my first Space Marine for two to three years. I want bikes and speeders and jump pack wearing chainsaw wielding lunatics. Dave, that sounds fucking incredible. Amazing. Go through the cult ceremony. Yeah, new train initiation. One of us. <laughs> Honestly, trust me, by the end of it, they'll know your fucking national insurance number, your social security number, wherever you're from, wherever you're from. They'll know everything. They'll know everything. They know how much you earn. They know what your disposable is, so they know how much you can actually gift. <laughs> hey, procrastinator, how he says you called. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget we need the credit card details. Yeah, absolutely. And, a, and a, a path, an apathy of war gamers, a grey of war gamers. A fog of. <laughs> 
I love it. I've always just called us a gaggle, to be honest. But <laughs> I don't think, like, these are a lot more creative and inventive it's, than my... I'm now going to Google, like, the thesaurus for... Oh, what, what can we... What word? Locally upgrade... Locally, upgrading to first house and 20 minutes away from the Harley Davidson Museum. In which case, Tay, I hope you've got yourself a spare room. And then you just need to tell me which airport you're picking me up from. <laughs> oh, what word can we use? What John what, Warhammer, thank you for five gifted memberships, you legend. Go on. What descriptive word would you use for attention to detail? Descriptive... Uh, a descriptive word? Yeah. Hmm. For attention to detail, Syn specifically. Synonyms. <laughs> Synonyms. I've stopped typing this word into my autocorrect now because it comes up as cinnamon. I'm, I'm finished. I'm done with it. I'm not arguing with autocorrect today. Synonyms for... A pedantic of war gamers. Mm, no, no. We, we they're could not go... all salty. <laughs> Something on the lovely and sweet. A sweat of war gamers. <laughs> a sweat of war gamers. <laughs> I saw, I think it was Kev earlier who said, can we call them a shower of war gamers? <laughs> Hopefully they'll hear the word enough that it will become some kind of <laughs> hidden message. You're taking the fear out of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. An accuracy. An accuracy of all gamers. <laughs> a facetiousness of war gamers. <laughs> a thoroughness. Don't know about war gamers, but it's a cult of thanes. Oh, it's cult. That's the word you've been using. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. A swarm of nerds. A nitpick of war gamers. Nitpick. <laughs> That's a great one. I'm into it. I'm into it. Anyway, chat. More of these to come throughout the night. A stratagem of war gamers. I'm quite a fan of as well. More of these. Who the fuck is John Warhammer, by the way? He dropped 50 gifted yesterday. Aww. Uh, legends. You're all legends. Um, this tediousness of war gamers. <laughs> this is going to probably continue throughout the night. So, in the meantime, feel free to also let me know what you're up to this weekend, specifically Warhammer related, to give us something to talk about. But if not Warhammer related, let us know whatever you're up to this weekend. I am off tomorrow lunchtime to meet a friend for a meal in a pub. Mm -hmm. uh, have a beer and chat nonsense for three or four hours and have a catch up and have some, some time away from my desk. Uh, and then I think I'll probably be doing some accountancy stuff. Boo! And then probably some painting stuff. Uh, Sunday's supposed to be my day off right now. Um, which I don't know what I'm going to do yet. The weather's supposed to be nice. I might actually get out for a Sunday ride for the first time in I don't know how long. Like just a Sunday ride for the sake of it. A group of war games is called a ball sack, of course. <laughs> <laughs> a ball sack of war gamers. Oh, Come on, I don't chat. want to go in that room. 120 people in chat. Put your hand up if you'd like to be referred to as a ball sack of Warhammer <laughs> of war gamers. John Warhammer is Mikado. No, it's not. Behave yourself. Could be. Why would he have another fucking 24 accounts? He's, he's been put in jail so many times. Two RTTs this weekend should be fun. An, an, an RTT each day. That's amazing. It can't be John anyway, because they only give to five. That's impossible. That's when you know the universe is about to explode. Mm. A tournament of war gamers could be quite generous. A monster of war gamers and Joe. Oh, that could be true for Joe, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I was like, well, this will be something that people every now and again will come up with something funny. I think what I might have done is turn it into 90 minutes of people just coming up with collective <laughs> nouns for war gamers, where they use about every word that could be associated with a war gamer. You already have Vash, that was Bullsack, amazing. Joe Cole's only feet. Thank you for five gifts. I still have no idea who this is. Thank you for five gifts. You're a legend. Off the off the bat, we are at 40 members in 10 minutes. And I can't ask you for more memberships because I get told off for begging. I agree. Stop talking about it now. No, no, what? No. Mm -hmm. you mean stop talking about it now. Stop talking about it. He is. He got upset you didn't recognize him. A rigor of war gamers. A rigor. That makes them sound like they're alert and awake, and we all know how much they sacrifice sleep for the sake of Warhammer, so we can't use that one. He said yesterday he'd renamed. From which one? From which one? A podcast of Wargamers. <laughs> how are you, Dan? How are you? He's upset you didn't recognise him. I could not miss Mr. McArdle. An attentiveness of war games. I have embraced him in the past. An attentiveness. I've embraced <laughs> him. Are you literally just Googling words? Just, yeah. <laughs> Mr. The Ballsack, thank you for 20 gifted, you fucking legend. Grifting, not begging. Well, I mean, 
We could stop begging and just put half the content behind the paywall, or we could do what other channels do and literally put 75% of the content behind a paywall if you want that instead, chat. We can do that if you'd rather. As I said earlier, I'm sick of you being sick of being hearing people being sick of the begging. <laughs> oh, you found the thread. <laughs> oh. My God, Kazarian. Thank God I haven't had a drink. That would have been impossible to get through. You f she found the thread. She found the thread, chat. Mm. Thank you, Mr. The Bullsack, for 20 gifted. You're a fucking legend. If you are, in fact, John Warhammer as well, thank you for the 25, man. You're a legend. A stream I can finally watch live. Welcome, Austin. Someone get that man a green name because of dragons. Someone get that man a green name. <laughs> An ocean of wargamers. Salty <laughs> enough normally. Brilliant. I love it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. See, this is what Friday Night Streams chat are all about. The audience numbers are typically lower, so normally you get more of mine and Lucy's attention because because some people just take the hobby too seriously. What do you mean he's just talking about silly shit? Don't want to watch that nonsense. Unless we know specifically that he's talking about page 94 of the 17th book. I'm not interested in watching this pathetic stream. Cool, okay, fine. Fridays is about dicking around having fun, laughing at each other, laughing at ourselves, mostly laughing at me, and then getting ready for the weekend. Going and doing some hobbying, some tournamenting, some playing, some chilling out, that kind of stuff. I'm very excited. I'm actually very excited for the weekend because I don't really have any really big task that I have to do this weekend, mm -hmm. which is for the first time in a long time. So I'm actually kind of, uh, I'm actually kind of really looking forward to it because it's going to be quite chill on the whole. Uh, before Mister the War Hipster lands on Monday, when I say lands, I mean comes in via the train. But when he lands on Monday, um, then uh, it's going to be busy for three days. I still don't yet know what exactly we're going to do Monday evening for content chat. We might do something from the studio. I, I said to Joe yesterday, I turned to Joe yesterday and said, the Josh is in on Monday. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I might do a Liam and Josh show on Monday. And he just fucking glared at me. Here he uh, comes. What you doing? What do you want? Right, why? He likes the attention. What do you oh, want? your son then. You see him looking. <laughs> you see him looking to see if he's on the camera. Ben, what do you want? Yeah. Right, okay. okay. You're going to have to play the bipads. Soon. Still need a bit more charge. Anyway. Rob Paul, thank you for the gifted. Oh, Riverside. Oh, my God. A cum sock of war gamers. A group of wargamers is called a stench. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> a group of wargamers are as broke as fuck. Facts, guy. Facts. Then we know it. Mm. Thank you, no, so, thank you so much for all the gifteds. Anyway, chat. We're up to fifty, sixty-one. <laughs> Shit the bed. Up Babe, to sixty-one already. Baby Demsby. Fuck off. Who said that? <laughs> fuck off, all of you. It's not Baby Demsby at all. <laughs> You're not funny. None of you are funny, all right? A crust of war gamers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I know. I know what I'm going to Google. <laughs> crust is a great name. I'm a fan of a crust of war gamers, by the way. Ugh, amazing. So, yeah, Mr. The War. Mr. The War. Who is playing who next week and which armies are being used? Bombardment. I'm building more Britonia this weekend and the dragons will come custodies. <laughs> I think <laughs> fucking Peter now. His super chats are getting longer and longer and longer because he's just adding all the phrases onto the end of it. Are you ready? Yeah. A gunk of war gamers. A gunk of war gamers. <laughs> so this one is Mr. The Hipster. And this one is right, I'm just I'm just looking at the schedule now, Mr. The Big Bad Peter Game in. So, on Tuesday, it's likely to be Joe and Mr. The War Hipster, probably on stream, unless I decide to play Age of Sigmar. And it'll be Age of Sigmar. We're doing an Age of Sigmar stream on Tuesday. Now, we're not, if we add Age of Sigmar content in the future, I will categorically go on record as saying that we are not, repeat, not going to be replacing 40k content with Age of Sigmar content. We'll be doing it in addition to, and actually, I was speaking to Joe yesterday about upping the number of hours he's spending in the studio if we're ditching Vag, so we can add more content to this channel, right? 
So uh, Tuesday's probably going to be AOS as we have a fuck around with Warhips because that's his main game. And that's what he likes to play. And then Thursday currently is Joe versus Brom with Leagues of Votan because you lot gifted enough memberships the other day for him to play Leagues of Votan. All right, there we go. Stu, thank you for the five gifted, you fucking legend. A rash of wargamers is a wonderful phrase. I've been away on business. Was Adepticon that bad? I've yet to see any positives out there. I mean, Adepticon wasn't... It wasn't... <sighs> Thing is, Kai, right? Straight up, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't really exciting. So it wasn't like it was a bad reveal. Like, things that were shown off were going, that's awful. Why have you shown that off? So it wasn't bad. The AOS, like, uh, Season 4 trailer was incredible, but they didn't really show much for AOS Season 4 apart from that reveal trailer. Talked a little bit about kind of the, the design ethos for the game without actually giving anything away, right? Um, so it, it wasn't bad. The, the trailer was very good. It just didn't show a lot. Uh, the 40k stuff, because we're predominantly a 40k channel, was in the sense, what well, was in the in the design of a kill team box and some chaos space, two chaos space marine lords. That was it, right? Like that was it. It was all we got. It wasn't a massive release for 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 40k. When we look at the kill team boxes, it looked like an upgrade sprue for some Cadians to turn them into some brood brothers, an upgrade sprue for some Votan to give them coats, and then two chaos lords in two big boxes that you have to buy separately. I can't believe the channel is going to be Warcry only going forward. Jacob, please no. Liam to drop 40k for new edition of AOS. You heard it first. I, if my business didn't depend on it, jo uh, John, I'd probably consider it. To be fair, you're gonna have to stream lunchtime games. No, I feel like so. There's a there's a few things I've heard about Age of Sigma. Actually, some people put some comments after the Liam and Joe show yesterday about Age of Sigma, and a couple of people said that the thing is, um, a lot of the things, a lot of the issue with it is it can be a slow build up to then a quick ending. Um, Luce knows a lot about that. What's that? Incredibly slow build up. Anticlimactic. Anticlimactic quick ending. Over way too soon. Yeah, yeah. Selfish on one half of the party. <laughs> yeah. So I, that means I feel like Age of Sigma potentially becomes a pre-recorded system that we showcase rather than a stream showcase. Uh, the other thing as well is, if you think about it, Monday night hobby night, Tuesday night game, Wednesday night 40k show, Thursday night game, Friday night 40k after dark. I don't have any more evenings to put games on. And there's really no point streaming game games at lunchtime on a Tuesday, for example, because one, we'd have to play two games in a day. That would be horrible with a, with a capital O, right? Um, and uh, there'd be no one really watching, so. Looking forward to AOS content when the new season drops. I've really been enjoying AOS more than 40k at the moment. A lot of people are saying that right now, honestly. Can't believe you're only covering Drop Fleet from now on. Oh, sorry, Dread Fleet. <laughs> Uh, My arms really hurt. I can't. Carrying the world, this woman, honestly. I can't e even. You got tired arms, these. Gripping a knife. I know. You I've hardly arms? mentioned it. You've not it. mentioned it once today. <laughs> I can't even grip a knife. Like it, it's it's it, my arm hurts there. Just use this. But I can't. I know it really hurt. <laughs> An empty wallet of war gamers. So, Thames is totally not a cult. Honest. Thank you for the five. <laughs> An empty wallet of wargamers. It's not really true anymore, though, is it? Because um, we don't use wallets anymore. I'm just throwing it out there. A sprue of wargamers. So you're showing only showing Games Workshop toilets from now on. Not surprised. Hey, what? You're only showing Games Workshop. Someone said, how many members for more top-down? I don't have a top-down in here. If you beat the record, you can have a whole... Well, if you beat the record, we'll do a one whole stream of just top-down, nothing but top-down. What, in the studio? Yeah. It could be fun. Well, we're not going to beat the record, so it's salute, safe. Like, like the... Yeah. A whole stream where the only way we can talk to cameras is by leaning under top down. Like that. <laughs> but you'd have to beat the record, and you're not going to do it. I like it, Eternal. A bankruptcy of <laughs> war gamers. <laughs> Did you have a vigorous one from Loose last night? God, no. If it was if <laughs> if that was the case, Stick Monkey, the amount she's whinged about how, hard, how much her arms are, you'd thought she'd pulled it off. <laughs> Literally clean off. <laughs> Honestly, she moved some flower pots yesterday. That's what they she were did. heavy. <laughs> and it's not flower pots, it's planters. Full on planters. By myself. Your choice. Yeah, I know. I thought I had enough adrenaline to do it. I didn't. And you could have you could have you could have just waited for me to come home this weekend and have I would you, move them for you. Have you ever felt a muscle shred? 
Like it's not a pull, it's not a strain. It's like you feel fibers shred. I mean, felt it yesterday, and I was like, "That'll ah, be fine." I've pulled and torn many, but I think they felt shred. Shred's an odd like way a... to describe a muscle tear. Yeah. Lucy's been heavy lifting. Yeah. Getting Joe yeah. out of the toilet. And then I had an Epsom salts bath because I thought if I don't have a bath and I tried to get up in the morning, my back, I don't know how I don't have a bad back. So I think yeah. the Epsom salts has worked, but my arm. That's a risk, Liam. You have to be on that stream too. No, no, 100%. If, if we beat the record again in the same month, I'd do a 100% top down stream, me and Joe. Just me and Joe. Because I, I could do the bending over this table all night. He would fucking hate it within about half an hour. <laughs> He'd get so annoyed by it. He'd be so annoyed by it. So we just become best friends. <laughs> always. Always. A stench of Wargamers is amazing. That's because two people, Chris and Dane, said it at exactly the same time. Hey? They said at the same time they posted a stench of Wargamers. And that's why Dane was like, ha ha ha, we should become best friends. I had a ligament in my knee tear once, not nice. Yeah. Pulling off the flower pot, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, there were no men in that garden. It I was got, just me. I got one of these recently to try and help with my like, ADHD. If I, if I try and use your grip, it hurts so much. I'm mostly excited about about the eight chaos detachments from the Codex. What do we want? Uh, I'd like them to be legion specific, mostly. So like a Night Lord's one that's kind of stealthy and jumpy, and then a Word Bearer's one that's pure evil. But I'd also like like a like a Dark Mech type one and like a Cultisty type one, which they've said that this is what we're getting, which is cool. So yeah, I, I got this to help with the ADHD. So rather than fidget, I just just squeeze this now. But it gets to a point where I because I fidget so much, it gets to a point where I just get this this horrific ache all around the bottom of my but wrist. That, there. It already aches round there on my arm. I've only got it up to. Does that not make you feel weird? No, why? 20, that, 30 kilograms? That repetitive movement, does it not make you feel like all heat? No, it helps. It genuinely helps me. Because oh. this is how I'm fiddling now, and it's good. No. It's grip strength. Did you ever get that joke pen that you'd you'd click the top down on it, but it, it wasn't actually a pen, and it kind of gave you your thumb like a weird sort of shock? No. So that's what that reminds me. Do want to use it for a bit? No. I also have, you know, because I have a Joe, I also have a new stress ball. Do you want the stress ball? No. Is there something ball? you want to tell me about your grip? <laughs> Watch your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Austin has just said, by the way, chat, just so you know, just realized I didn't have gifted turned on. What that means is he now has gifted turned on. Go. Dane, thank you for the gifted membership. You're a hero. What a legend. Up to a monumental 67. A group of 40k players should either be called a talent, non-tournament players, or a streak if they play professionally. <laughs> Your right arm become one. No, I keep switching, wee man. Don't you worry. I'm on both. I'm on both hands. Your left hand's got to be as strong as. Right? Such a bizarre pastime. It's this is just it's like being, I'd, I'd rank this as weirder than the toy soldiers. This, <laughs> this is just gym for your wrist. That's all it is. Yeah. I'm gym not, for your grip. I'm not buying it. it looks like pie. There's all, I got more like as well. Symbol. Where's the box gone? It's a really weird one that you're going to be into. You bought you've bought more than two. There's a little box. Oh, hang on, it's in here. A little pack came with, with lots of versions of, of grip and wrist strength for this, right? So there's this one. Chat's going to love that one. I'm feeling slightly... Uh, that, chat, I don't have any way of blinking to this you. One's for your, this one's for your knuckles. I might just clap. If you Can squeeze, you hear that, chat? If you squeeze that one... Please send someone. If you squeeze that one, your knuckles will, will be... like do that, That's knuckles. So right, this it in, is really going to hurt my squeeze hand. Squeeze it in between your hands. A camaraderie of war gamers. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian, for the 25. That's a nice one. I don't like nice one. Right? Yeah, squeeze. It's really hard, isn't it? it hurts your knuckles. It works your knuckles here. Right? And then... Ian righted one of those hand fidgets down at pitch side during the football punditry. He was on about it during the overlap podcast with Left. It's, it helps me. I fidget so much, it helps me. This one's very weird. I feel so scared in this right. room. So you put you put this one on all your fingers, like this, right? 
And once you've got all your fingers, what you're supposed to do, it doesn't really fit my fingers very well. You have to push it right on. Right? And then you, you, your hand stretches out like that. There's those muscles. That's That one's really hard. Yeah, I do that one. That one's really hard. Right? I'm feeling unnecessarily intimidated for bedtime later. I can't my, um, begin to tell you how much I'm sleeping in that spare room. My main tonight. screen with. Um... Oh, someone. I turned Apple TV on. Oh. Why, why have you. I don't understand. What do you understand? And then this one. This one here? This is one. This one's for fingers. That looks like you're like a, a brass instrument player. The fingers, that one. It's all grip strength stuff. I feel like I, I should I should have a phone number on speed dial that's only three digits. How far is oh my god? Thank you for the two gifted. I know you've done that. I'm aware of why you've done that. I know what number that puts us on. Thank you so much for the two gifted. You're a legend. What a hero. Up to sixty nine gifted memberships. See that one's hard, isn't it? As well. It's, <laughs> it already hurts. It's my really arm. hard, isn't it? <sighs> but it was all worth it because I put my cauliflowers in today. So yeah, these this is these are my new this is my new thing. Keeps me occupied. I've got a little baglet. Fit beast. Don't see? Fit beast. I don't know how to approach this conversation. <laughs> I feel like I feel I thought we were past this. We're we're seasoned now. Into what? That's so what I do. Like on Wednesday, I sat here for the whole stream squeezing this thing, and did. by the end of it, I had sore forearms. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Look, it's much nicer when I'm on stream squeezing this thing than touching me cock, right? So, how many accounts do you think you have now, John? Oh yeah, top down camera complaints committee. You can fuck off, by the way. Did anyone get the the guy who just said he turned gifted on for the first time? Almost half a year of grip strength comes from your little finger, by the way. Yeah, well. Does it? I don't know if that's true. I thought your little finger was like your little toe. On the doesn't really do much, but actually use it for if, balance. If you yeah, <laughs> but if you lose it, massively detrimental. It'd be funny to call gathering a game as a stink. I like that dark. I'm into it. A group of war gamers is called an STD. <laughs> is it? Is it, guy? Does a group of war gamers have that much sex? I'm going to argue probably no. A basement of war games. Oh. <laughs> oh. A diarrhea of war gamers. Oh, no. Look at me. I'm going to all fit this pro. Next thing, it'll be a personal trainer. I'll never, I couldn't be a personal trainer. I couldn't do it ever. I couldn't. What's the rice bucket workout? Does anyone still do that insanity workout? That was a huge I've, thing a while back. I've got there. that saved in my computer. No, that's a cardiac arrest waiting to happen. I've never done it. I've got it saved on my computer. <laughs> Charming, but I still appreciate you. I uh, I was supposed to go back to the gym like two weeks ago, and my personal trainer was supposed to set my gym program, and he didn't. And I'm I should really be like, uh, we we're gonna set some programs for Tuesday and Thursday because I put it in the calendar. And what I instead did was go, well, if he doesn't set the program, I don't have to go. Mm -hmm. So that's how that's working out for me. A hemorrhoid cushion. Oh, she's gonna read that anyway. Uh, could be loose or loose fat. Who knows? Who knows? Still missed a GM. What's that? Gargles, Pith, why are you a grey name? Little finger can hold the most as the smallest lever. Ooh. Uh, top down, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. yeah, don't you worry. This is just this is more about me fidgeting and trying to put that energy somewhere rather than nowhere. So I'll have I'll be the grippiest wargamer. Grippiest. Also, in seriousness, gonna, in seriousness, are we going to practice delicate techniques as serious, well as grip, though? No, because, no, no one likes delicate. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, the thing is, that in seriousness, though, when it, when I do go back to the gym, this actually helps, especially for free weights. It helps having a good grip on free weights. I can't take this seriously. I'm sorry, Lee. I'm wasting your breath. I Why? Can't take this seriously. Why? No, I just can't. I feel like I'm stumbling into some long, drawn-out, oh, practical God. joke where I'm somehow at the centre of it. I'm not doing it. I cannot tell you how much I've missed this mead, by the way. It's fucking glorious. A hemorrhoid cushion of war gamers. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It is. <laughs> it 
New series A Friendly Introduction to BDSM, Embarrassed Smiley Face. A new series of friendly introductions. What's BDSM? What? Bondage. Something, 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 isn't it? BDSM. What's BDSM stand for? Do you remember? I don't know, no. Well, you were the one that brought it up last time. BDSM? Yeah. Bedroom. Drama. Drama. BDS. Bedroom drama. Sloppy. <laughs> Top cam is great, but can this money go towards a bottom cam? <laughs> <laughs> Bedroom yeah. drama, super king mess. Where's the K came from? Oh, it's too early. A spectrum of wargamers is one of the most accurate we're ever going to get, I think, actually. A spectrum of wargamers is great. BDSM. Bedroom drama smells oh. moldy. No! Oh, no one <laughs> wants to go in there. I don't want to know why one of the Thanes who's made an alternative account called Thanes is Totally Not a Cult Honest knows that it's called Bondage, Domination, Sado, Machis Machi uh, Sago, Sado Masochism. I almost couldn't say it then. Meta chasing lemming train of war gamers. <laughs> Smoke for brain. <laughs> Where'd you get the mead from? Personally, I buy it from Queef. It is, it is called that. It's not. It's Quaff. It's Q W <laughs> in the UK. It's Q W O double -F, F. I buy it from that website because it typically has it in stock more than the actual parent company. So the mead itself, that I personally love, this stuff is the fucking greatest. I've not found a nicer mead than this at the moment. Vikings Blood Mead is from a company called the Lancashire Mead Company. It says on the back here, the Lancashire Mead Company across the top, right? Um, they almost never have stock because they get it all out to their suppliers. Uh, Queef is one of them. <laughs> I call it Queef. Queef is one of them, right? So this is where I get it from. But it, I'll be honest with you, it is expensive shit, this stuff. So this is the first time really I've been drinking it this year because it's 30 quid a bottle. And unfortunately, I drink it like lager. So I go through it quite quickly. Um, and I just haven't really been able to for, like, justify the cost of it this year. That's why the last few streams for Friday Night After Dark, 40k After Dark, I've been drinking fucking Stella. That used to be like my go-to beer. It's awful now. It tastes a bit shit. Mm. So, uh, 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 because I live in secret life as a professional war gamer. Oh, do you? Do you? Do you? Bacon, butty, some mayo, anything else is just weird. For, for what? What are you about, Kev? Where's that come from? <laughs> it's almost BDSM, but it's BBSM. Bacon butty some mayo. Oh, okay. BBSM is much nicer. Bacon <laughs> butty some mayo. I like it. I really need to try mead. Even have a local producer now called Stone Circle Mead. Uh, I'll be honest with you. So standard normal mead can be quite hit and miss for people. So a plain mead, an unflavoured mead, is essentially alcohol uh, alcoholized. Is that a word? Alcoholized. I feel like it's a word. Uh, it's alcoholic honey. Essentially, is what it is. Um, and for the, the the taste of it can be very BDSM equals bondage, discipline, sadist, and a masochist. Discipline. What what is a masochist? I don't I don't. Oh. I don't I'm not sure. Battle dungeon spells and magic is a much better version. What is a... <laughs> um so yeah, like plain plain mead, plain normal flavoured mead is it can be quite hit and miss for people. Some people can taste it like that's not very nice. Some people can taste it like mm, I quite like it. So, um, but this one because it's Viking's blood, it's essentially summer fruits mead. Uh, Viking blood mead is a dark fruit mead using pure concentrates, which are added to the fermentation process. The fruit juices give it a smooth, deceptive, almost alcohol-free taste despite its percentage. This flavour has become a firm favourite with regulars and non-mead lovers alike. Be careful of the wobbly, log, the wobbly leg syndrome you have been warned. It's it's blackcurrant, blackberry, blueberry in the mead, which is fucking wonderful. Masochist is someone that enjoys being hurt. Yeah. There must be me in this relationship. And then a uh, sadist is the person who hurts. Yes. Yes. How many space marines does it take to screw in a light bulb? A hundred. One to screw in the light bulb, but 99 to praise the emperor. Amazing. A throng of gamers. What's a throng? Sweet tasting bee vomit. It's exactly that, yeah. 100%. <laughs> a waft of war gamers is amazing. Hey, Patrick. How's it going, man? 
How is it going? Are we, are we, are we honestly chat childish enough as well to leave it on 69 members? Are we leaving it on 69 members, chat? Is that what's going on? There's like a whole psychoanalytic theory on it. On what? Uh, well, female ma masochism. Have I said that right? Yes. So there's like a whole psychology thing on it. I... <laughs> it's all in capital. We literally. really need to make sure that your internet search history <laughs> doesn't get out there. <laughs> I'm enjoying Lucy's current descent into kinks. I won't be enjoying it later, <laughs> Stick Monkey. You're the one doing wrist exercises, not to, me. Yeah, to fight you off. <laughs> that's why nightly I have to fight you off. It's horrible. Oh, that's terrible. It's horrible. Thank you, Ghastly, for the gifted. You're a legend. There you go. We've got past 69 now. No reason to leave it there anymore. Get gifted. Thank you, Tony Winnick, for the five. Sorry, I was begging then. I shouldn't be begging. Thank you for the five gifted, Tony Winnick. You're a legend. Watch Liam start accidentally crushing his models with his meaty hands. I do that anyway. I'll be honest with you. I am happy now, Garcia. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Up to 75 of the finest once it catches up. Is it catched up? Is it catched up? It hasn't registered Garcia's gifted. Why didn't it register it? It'll catch up in a minute. We are on 75, chat officially. Thank you so much, you beautiful people. An odour of wargamers or an indigestion of wargamers, both of which fit. <laughs> Cass is here. Your great name, Cass. What's going on? He's learning a kung fu grip to protect himself. Exactly. Exactly. I frequently fear for my safety upstairs in this house, chat. Frequently. Oh my god. I'm very you... concerned that you've gone quiet and you're reading lots. Yeah, I'm reading this. It's Can you stop taking notes as well? This is a, I know it's about like bedroom stuff, but it, the psychological tilt on it is really interesting. <laughs> Loose is a demonette confirmed. Did you need this to stream to confirm it? Really, Stick Monkey? Did you? Did you? I might actually seriously read that. That's very, very interesting. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone snipe cast. Well, you can do, yeah. I actually think I'm going to do some painting this weekend. I'm going to, um, I need to send Dave B a picture of my crochet because I think his wife is going to try and Not point me in the track. right direction. But, Does his wife um, crochet? Yeah, she sells stuff. She's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> I can sell stuff. Just so I'm, you know. Just I'm good at it, yeah. Um. Baneblade. Dawn, Sentinel, and Manta Core. Thanks for the five. Thanes is totally not a cult, cult honest. I can't even say it. Actually. Yeah, I am. I am genuinely looking forward to probably get some paintings on this weekend. I did a bit. Of, I did a bit of airbrushing today in there, which is yeah. nice. On the main frame. So when we do the main frame on Monday, I was having some issues with my, the oils on my hand rubbing off the base paint that I put on it, so it's going back to bare plastic. So what I've had to do is I've had to go in there, apply more base black to the model, so to get rid of the grey plastic and then varnish it to protect it, and then apply some black over it to make it look like a normal coat. So I've been doing that over the course of today, actually, to get it a bit more, so that basically I can I can touch it and not destroy the paint. But your hands aren't that oily. No, no, but my hands are also very warm. Oh, okay. I, I think the combination is, is pretty bad. So um, <laughs> when I was holding it on Monday, painting the head, the the pipes at the back that I was holding, which is, which is literally wore, wore all the, War, war, worn, war. I wore all the paint off. Worn. I ward. War. What? Why have you put a D in there? I don't know. What's the word? <laughs> I wore all the paint off. You don't know what the word is. I wear it off. War. war you don't it. know the word. Ward. The bird. A bird. 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 Hey, get back the gifted. I I warded it off. Oh, stop. So I um I needed to like do some varnishing stuff as well. So I got that done. And I thought at the same time, I might as well airbrush the face and, and the feet so it's the same as the arm panels. I'm actually looking forward to getting some paint down this weekend. I might do some tomorrow morning before I go to my pub lunch. Um, what time are you going? I'll probably leave there like half 11 or something. Okay. Um, go pick him up. Early, uh, early, early, early lunch date. A few beers. Lots of chat. I've been building stuff. I finally built my dudes from Leviathan. Amazing. My honesty chat, I couldn't, I can't. Andrew, honestly, I can't wear latex gloves for long. I've used latex gloves 
uh, for airbrushing in the past because otherwise I, I end up like because I brush onto my like I get my thumbs and fingers covered in it. So normally I wear I wear gloves for airbrushing, but I can't wear them just to sit here and hold. Um, I hate I hate latex girl. I, they're awful yeah. things. I think they feel horrible all the time. Adrian, thank you for one more gifted. You're a legend. Um, they just feel fucking dreadful, attention seeking, but one at a time. Um, so the I can't only, wear them. The only time I've worn latex gloves was when I was a carer. Um, and obviously PPE, you have to wear them. As soon as I could take them off, I would. And I'd, it wouldn't take long for me to have cracked hands. The only, the only time I ever really wear gloves, genuinely, at any point, is on my bike. Yeah. And when I, the second I step off my motorbike, because I've stopped it, the gloves come off. The first thing that happens is the gloves come off. Mm -hmm. I don't like having things on my hands. I don't mm -hmm. know why. It's a sensory thing, I think. I think, I think it's because your hand because it's plastic so your hands sweat yeah and then you can't and it's a, it's a yeah it's not just right, a plastic, it's, it's I just, a layer on your skin i just don't like anything on my hands yeah i don't know why like it, winter you, you know me winter hold a winter don't wear any gloves mm -hmm. don't wear gloves at all i really struggle with things like moisturizers so whenever people get me moisturizers for whatever reason i go oh thank you very much and then it just goes it goes on the shelf and i, I can't i can't bring myself to use it it's, <laughs> it's like putting oil listen to what i'm saying like it doesn't matter if it's vinyl nitrile or whether it's made of the silk of a thousand silkworms i don't like things on my hands <laughs> it doesn't matter what it's made of listen to me chat jesus <sighs> it could be made from the softest rarest mink i don't like things on my hands have you ever put... I only wear gloves on my bike because it's literally protective equipment. Have you ever put, like, vegetable oil on your skin and then closed your eyes and just try and focus what that feels like? No, no. That's, that's the second I put gloves on, that's the, the consuming thought in my head of there's something on my skin, get it off my skin. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't like anything on my hands at all. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure why. I don't know why. It's a, probably just a weird fucking autistic sensory thing. I just don't like it. I don't like things about it. Like, even winter. We, we got issued army issue gloves and all sorts. I, just, I barely wore them. I fucking hated them. I like gloves like if it's snowing nope. outside, those kinds know. of gloves. Nope. I like that because nope. that's it's like cotton or wool and that in my brain feels comforting. It's just, it's like the, the tight skin on skin. No, no, no. I don't like, any, I don't like any gloves. I had them um, North Face ones for ages, you remember, for winter up in Hadley mm. when it was fucking cold. I, I often didn't wear those either. Like, it had to be cold for me to put them on. Cold, I loved, cold. I loved how cold. I remember James being brand new, and we had that red <laughs> baby carrier, and I, I stole a few of your fleeces, and I zipped us both up. Oh, I loved having uh, the baby. Garfi says, now. so this is why you got the snip then, Liam. <laughs> and then Andrew Cook's come in with a genius. Have you tried painting handles? I don't think an Imperial Knight will fit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't think an Imperial Knight will fit on this, Andrew, if we're being frank. When it comes to any kind of infantry model, I only use painting handles. I don't think the Knight will fit on this, though. I'll be honest. Adrian, thank you for two more gifted. I was waiting because he was doing one at a time, the attention-seeking fuck. So thank you for four in total, Adrian. You're a legend. I love you. What oven gloves? I mean, yeah, obviously. Come on. Fuck it, Dave. Yeah, I don't like oven gloves. Actually, more frequently than not, we use a tea towel. <laughs> to yeah, be fair. I use a tea towel. <laughs> uh. Lace? Mm. What about lace gloves? Um, <laughs> what? I'll just go and get... Because I could make them for you. I'll go to the DIY shop, get some old neck curtains, dye them black so they're all manly. I think we're being wound up here, by the way. And then I could just make you some neck curtain gloves. Because Fubar says, <laughs> I used to model gloves. I think someone's on the wind up in here. <laughs> I hope you have gloves on riding your bike. That's what I'm saying, James. It's literally the only time I ride gloves is for riding my bike. And the only reason why I wear them is because they're safety equipment. Otherwise, I wouldn't wear them. If it, it, like, I wouldn't go out on a bike without them. I always wear gloves. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that they were a safety equipment requirement, I wouldn't wear them. Not with that attitude alone. <laughs> hey, Martin, how's it going? He comes into all the streams now just to see if we're going to talk about him. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's anyway, really, he doesn't give a fuck about the content. Just, are we going to talk about Martin? I still remember going to Warhammer World with him and he was going to show his Golden Demon model because it's, I don't know if it's still in their cabinet, but it was in the cabinet on the day. And I was walking past going, oh my God, look at all these. And he'd, I didn't realise he'd stopped and cleared his throat. I thought he was just clearing his throat. And I was still walking around going, oh my God, look at this one. And there's Martin all the way back over there, sort of gesturing like, 
Mine's in here. Come back over here. Yeah. And I went, well, of course, Martin. You know, nothing compares to, <laughs> to your model. Minnie Mayer says, have you tried falconry gloves? Yes. Falconry used to be my, one of my main hobbies. Yeah, those are big gloves. But even then, I would, if it, depending on the bird of prey, like we had a tawny, we used to work with a tawny owl. If I could get away with it, I wouldn't use falconry gloves. Because I didn't like, I don't like gloves. The trouble, where we, where the trouble is, their beaks are rather pointy. Well, that's, that's fine. I don't mind them. When when you're holding Harris hawks, red tail hawks, bald eagles, golden eagles, then I put a glove on. Yeah. Yeah. Because the uh, what is it? Great grey yeah. owls, European eagle owls, them fuckers hurt. <laughs> I had a I had a bald eagle take a chunk up my thumb. That's nice. Yeah. So yes, and I bet you're all going. Wait, what? What's he talking about? Because a lot of people that haven't been around for a long time wouldn't know that one of my main hobbies previously was falconry. Actually, before I joined the army, I spent three months working at the Hawk Conservancy Trust in Andover. And then when I went up to Ipswich, um, there's a place up there called the Suffolk Owl Sanctuary where I met a guy called Dean, and him and I used to go hunting all the time. Yeah. Yeah, mini bear. Damn, that didn't go the way I was expecting. Exactly. Ha ha! <laughs> Try to be fucking clever! The night will not fit, but it looks damn close to a but plug bombardment. <laughs> butt plug bombardment? No one wants that. No <laughs> one wants a butt plug bombardment, Adrian. Thank you for the 25. Yeah, so there you go. I used to, I used to take, I used to, we used to take the Harris Hawks or the Red Tails out hunting. And I remember, did you ever cook any captures? I don't know if you did. No. I did bring a pheasant home for my mother once because she wanted to try cooking some game. So I caught a pheasant, brought it home. And I remember There's she easier ways to cook. So she game. she hung the pheasant in the passageway because oh, I was no. like, you need to, you need to hang it first, mum. Then you need to pluck it all and get it ready, and gut it, etc. Do you want me to do it for you? She's like, no, no, no. I want to learn this. I want to learn this. I was like, okay, cool, okay, fine. So she hung the pheasant in the passageway for a for a day or two, which is pretty normal. And then she, I heard a fucking scream, Leah! <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, Leah? It's got maggots. I was like, it's been hanging for a day. <laughs> It's got maggots! <laughs> so I came down. <coughs> and what she'd done is that she started to pluck the pheasant to get it ready to cook it. The crop of the pheasant was full of what it had been eating. Yeah. Little worms and stuff. And uh, I was like, no, mother, that's the bird's crop. You do need to empty that out as well, yes. It's not got maggots. That's what it ate before it died. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's a braver woman than me. I think I'd... I'd... No. No. If that wouldn't turn me vegetarian, it'd be a miracle. <laughs> we used to have a psychopathic Harris hawk that would chase squirrels. I heard a squirrel for the first time a couple of months ago. They don't make the noise you think they're going to make. Uh, not if they get caught by a fucking hawk, they don't. They squeal. But for me, that makes sense that they make a squeal sound. The sound they make as their mating call that's not that's not a noise I thought same as rabbit the squeal a rabbit makes when you catch a rabbit is horrific yeah that's a horrible noise but the problem with squirrels is that because they're quite fucking wiry little bastards they would often try and bite the hawk's feet as well and that's bad because they carry all kinds of fucking diseases and shit my mum caught a pheasant once with the grill of a Ford Escort <laughs> what about a body glove no 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 <laughs> have you not got white scars yet no I don't want to paint white fuck that <laughs> the red tails bird call is so badass yeah i love a red tail red tails are amazing but they're fucking psychopaths red tail hawks so when you like when you take them hunting this is what we're turning into now this is the stream when you take them hunting a harris hawk right so if the if the game you're chasing was to like dive under a bramble bush a harris hawk will pull up and yeah. it will sit in the tree and be like i'm not going in there it's a fucking bramble bush right a red tail is like game on plow straight in the amount of untangled red tails we had to, like because you get you're like oh and he goes you just need to go boof into the bush you're like good untangling a red tail then are we and you get there he's just got his feet in the bush like that like i've got it <laughs> you can't get out honest honest it was i fucking love those things amazing i missed that that was a great hobby i think expensive one i think i miss it because oddly it gave me an appreciation for the food chain what I liked, do you know what I really liked about um, hawking was the fact that we would, I'd go and meet Dean on like a, a, a Saturday or a Sunday. We'd drive to some hunting ground, uh, which is just an area where we've been given permission to hunt. We'd get the hawks out the back of the of the truck, and it's literally a day in nature. Yeah. It was, and it's you're in in the fucking uh, the wilderness essentially, mm. and you like you walk through the, when you when you're hunting, hunting with Harris is incredible. 
So you let you literally cast them up and you walk through the forest floor beating with a stick to try and flush any game out. And I mean pheasant, partridge, rabbit, hare, anything like that, right? And the hawks literally follow you in the trees and they bound from tree to tree. And then if you beat something and go and you call the hawk to it, one of them goes and then the pair of them hunt it like a pack. It's fucking phenomenal to watch until one of them hits it. And then you kill it, knife in the head, put it in your bag, off you go beating again. But it's just, it's literally, it's almost as close to, it's almost as close to kind of medieval hunting as you're ever going to get in the modern day. Yeah. Because you're not, there's no guns, there's no tech. You know, we, I say there's no tech. There's telemetry on the birds of prey. So if they fucked off, there's mm -hmm. a little radar and you can go and find them. Um, but other other than that, it is literally man, knife, falconry glove, hawk, go. Do you know, the me um, coming out with you a couple of times when you were hunting or doing your days at um, Suffolk Owl Sanctuary actually helped me understand training Emmy because... Although she doesn't, obviously, she doesn't do the hunting thing. There's a saying that you said that um, fair trade is no robbery or something. It's a, it's a phrase from Falkery, fair trade is no robbery, yes. Fair trade is no robbery. So now, if I need Emmy to do something for me, or if she has done something unprompted, I absolutely reward her. Or if I need to get her attention off something, I need to be either equal to her task or greater than her task otherwise of course she's not going to do what i need her to do because what she's currently doing is more fun <laughs> and actually seeing a bird that could just bugger off and fly off because it's a bird keep coming back because they know they're not being given the short end of the stick they've got a better deal if they come back yeah kind of, it's always stayed with me of I, I need to be the better option yeah, yeah yeah basically yeah i want to take this thing off of you that you've worked yeah. for so I need to trade something for it yeah. that you think is worthwhile. Yeah. Um, and that's that's where fair trade is no robbery comes from. A mantelpiece that comes from falconry. Yeah. Um, because when they hit the top, when they hit the prey and they've got it on the ground, that they cover it with their wings and they're mantling it to protect it. That's what a mantelpiece comes. From. There's load like yeah. falconry is like an old English. It's like there's so much stuff that comes from falconry. It's it's quite impressive actually. Yeah. Hoodwinked, hoodwinked comes from falconry. Yeah, that's a phrase from falconry. Yeah, there's um, loads. And also the fair trade is no robbery helps me transition Ben from task to task as well because I need to be if I if I need to do damage control because something's been cancelled or whatever I need to offer him something equal or greater than the thing he's already doing to help not yes. get into a meltdown. Yeah, it's about it's about fair trade. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> Andrew says, what I don't like about Hawking is I can't understand his books. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. I was at the Game of Thrones day at Castle Ward County Down. Uh, Game of Thrones was filmed there. They had a falcon display. The guy let the falcon go. It flew away and I nearly wet myself laughing. Depending on the falcon, especially if it was like a, per a peregrine or something like that, that's just what they do. We used to fly them uh, in Suffolk and you would you'd cast it off and you just wanted it to go up. A lot of people were like, this is a shit display. But a peregrine falcon is at its mm -hmm. best in the stoop. Uh, and the stoop is where basically what it does is it, it essentially finds its prey, it tucks its wings and it twists and dives as it goes down. And the reason why yeah. it twists is to expel air. Um, and it can hit, They've I think the fastest recorded peregrine falcon was in America. They dropped out of a hot air balloon after some meat. So it's a kind of a false positive in terms of the test because it wasn't actually actively hunting. Mm -hmm. They dropped out of a hot air balloon and it hit 242 miles an hour. Fastest living thing on the planet, strictly. Yeah. Uh, not on ground, obviously, cheetah mammals. But yeah, 242 miles an hour is the fastest recorded in the US, a peregrine falcon. And then just before it hits its play, it drops its feet out and just hits it. I've watched it. I've watched one on video. I've watched one decapitate a duck in midair because <laughs> it hit the neck so fucking hard the oh, thing's head God. came off. My favourite memory was um, I was early on pregnant, so Dean, who was our friend who worked at Suffolk Owl Sanctuary, was like, here's a list of stuff I can't let you do now, <laughs> but I can let you do this one thing, so please be careful. If you need any help, please come and get me. And I was allowed to go and get the European Eagle Owl. Oh, my that God. That thing was it's, aggressive as shit as well. It is beautiful and i had it on my arm and i remember dean saying this one's a little bit temperamental but it likes women so you, you should be okay blue got it yeah got it on my arm and i just remember looking at it thinking this doesn't look real it's so beautiful and the feathers and the eyes and and so the, the feet. and i was like oh, european eagles so we european eagles and milky eagles um are incredible creatures the, 
dumb as shit, but they're incredible <laughs> creatures. And they have, they've got these fucking great big fat feet, right? Loved it. And they, um, the pressure at the tip, the point tip of the of the talon when they squeeze, they can do, they can exert something like 3000 PSI pressure at the very tip of it. So strictly speaking, even with your falconry glove on, if it really wanted to, it would pierce the glove and, and it would yeah. get you. It would, yeah. it would be able to grip you. They're so incredibly strong. I think bold eagles like two and a half thousand psi at the tip of the of the talon because they grab fish and shit. Um, but yeah, we had a milky eagle owl at the Hawk Conservancy. It was a young bird in training when I was there, and um, during a display, they were like, "Can you go get the milky eagle owl ready for ready for the next section of the display?" So off I went, wandered right, and I went and picked up this fucking milky Tolkien. His name was. I instantly loved it because it was called Tolkien, right? <laughs> and I, I'd help feed it from a chick, literally from a chick as well, I'd help feed it. I had to skin fucking 50 fucking chicks. To get, anyway, um, picked up this milky eagle owl and I stood there and I was waiting for the display and the next thing I know, all I felt was my my wrist through the falconry glove start to be crushed. And I was yeah. like, what the fuck? I turned around and one of the, um, one of the aviaries or one of the... Um, uh, uh, I can't remember what they call them now. The, the basically have like the, there's like little hub houses they call them. I can't remember what they're called anymore. Uh, had a bold eagle and it stepped outside. This milky eagle and turned its head, saw this fucking like bold eagle and gone shit. <laughs> I was like ow ow ow. And I had to go ow ow ow. And just kind of walk away slowly and not panic so he doesn't panic. Ow ow ow. Please stop. Yeah, it was fucking. And that, that was the first time I'd ever had a falconry glove actually pierced by a bird of prey. Yeah. Properly pissed. And I was like, it's, what was it's close? A, it's a weird feeling have, having something, and this sounds really cheesy, having something so majestic that could seriously hurt you. Liam, what's your fab drink to sip while playing 40k? Secondly, I want to play nids with two flyers, harpy slash hive crane. How can their rules change to make them playable? Harry, thank you for the 20. You're a legend. I, I mean, I don't know what their rules are right now. I thought the... I like... Is it the harpy the one that drops the spawn mines? I thought they were okay anyway. Uh, flyers are in a weird place at the moment. Like, I feel like flyers need to kind of have like a permanent minus one to hit. I don't know if they do or not anyway. There's a couple of things you need to do. They, they, they went through this weird space in 7th edition where they were like only hit on sixes. Then it was like you could hit them all the time. And I think some of them have supersonic. Um, there's a couple of rules they could do to make them slightly harder to hit to uh, kind of indicate them being up high in the sky. I don't actually chat. It'd be an inter interesting question. Do any of you actually ever see flyers? Do, do, do any of you ever see flyers? Because I don't ever see flyers at the moment, really, at all. And I like, I kind of like flyers, but I'm not sure. Um, favorite drink to sip while playing 40k? Honestly, if I had the choice, I'd just drink this shit all the time, forever, every day. If it was legal to drive and drink this shit, I probably would. Actually, that's, that's a lie. I wouldn't because I'd be irresponsible. But um, if I wasn't drinking anything alcoholic, my favourite thing to drink was playing 40k. Is <laughs> This is so boring. It's just tea. I just like tea. <laughs> that's why I've got teeth that look like fucking um, the sand in the Sahara because I drink so much tea, to be honest with you. Someone said, what's your favourite eagle? I don't really have a favourite eagle. Do I have a favourite eagle? I love a bold eagle. Mine's the European eagle out. Just the most an eagle, beautiful though. bird. I know, despite having eagle yeah. in the name. It's, it's honestly the most beautiful bird I've ever seen. Because you see them on TV and you go, oh, they're pretty cool. They're amazing. To see it, it could rip your see, face off. My favourite owl is actually a great grey. I prefer cool. a great grey over yeah. an eagle owl, personally. Sure. Great grey is my favourite owl. A owl! Um... I am a big fan of, in terms of actual eagles, there's a couple of fucking super rare ones as well. Um, but I just love the, like the symbol of the bold eagle is incredible. Mm -hmm. The golden eagle strictly is more impressive than the bold eagle because it's actually adapted to multiple environments across the whole of the globe, actually. It's incredible. I, there's, a, there's a documentary where you watch a bold eagle who's learnt how to, get this, how to eat tortoises. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. So it picks the fucker up, flies off to a rocky outcrop that it knows is a big, heavy, rocky outcrop, goes up and just drops the fucking thing. Yeah. If you want to see something super impressive, Google the Philippines eagle. That thing is fucking Ooh. incredible, but they are nearly extinct. They're basically, in fact, they might actually be extinct by now. Phil... The Philippines eagle. Oh, there's Philippines. Phil... <laughs> in terms of falcons, the peregrine is the goat, 100%, but I also quite like a jur. Two peas. A great a, a white jar is incredibly rare and like they cost like thirty grand a pop. Philippines right? eagle was 
Philippines are you? Oh you? my god! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should also chat Google the secretary bird. Those things yeah. are incredible as well. Also known as the long-legged marching eagle. See, now you've got my full <laughs> geek on. You thought my full geek was Warhammer. No, 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 no. I'm all about the birds. We went to uh, a home ed day at um, Hawks Conservancy Trust. Fascinating, amazing, really patient with the kids who had autism. And we learned all about the vultures. I love vultures. And how... I fucking love vultures. Vultures are um, getting a bad press and how they're now in the endangered bracket and we need to appreciate the vulture. That was pretty cool. Harp Eagle's amazing. I, uh, yeah, I love a vulture. Griffin vultures. Oh, we used to fly a griffin vulture that had basically 11 and a half foot wingspan. It's fucking huge. Isn't it insane this how big huge. these birds are? Oh. Because... And when it come into, when it come into land, it, you're like, it, uh, <laughs> it's gonna you are going to fucking clean me out. <laughs> yeah, you need to break. <laughs> like the harp here. Yeah. Oh. Is this, is this, <laughs> that's people feel like when we talk about worm, but yeah. This is my, honestly, <laughs> I remember the secretary bird. They are deadly. Yeah, they, we, we had falconers who were in hospital with stitches in their head. <laughs> so, so the secretary birds um, instinctually hunt snakes. Yeah. And they kick snakes. What they do is they kick them on the head because that's where the fucking venom comes out. Yeah. Um, and they, they'll, even, they'll even jump kick cobras. So if a cobra rears up at a secretary bird, it'll jump kick it in the fucking head, right? Um, and... Uh, if if it gets frustrated, confused, annoyed, it will jump kick a falconer. And it, it, we, they had them in the hawks, obviously, that had, had stitches in their head because it got kicked by a secretary bird. They're yeah. fucking lethal, them things. Yeah. Uh, I really want a pet raven. Can you own one in the UK? Yes, yes, then. You can own, um, you can have Harris hawks, you can have um, falcons, you can have owls in the UK. Shockingly, and I honestly, believe, I genuinely mean this, shockingly, without a license. You don't need a license for them. Um... Yeah, I don't agree with that personally, but you, you, you can you can have, uh, you can have a European eagle owl, Chris right? And you don't need a license for it. Christopher says my neighbour has an aviary with about forty budgies and canaries. I often see a sparrow hawk just sitting on the fence watching them. It's like a menu, isn't it? I'll go for that one. <laughs> Martin, uh, Joe has said he's going to do Chaos Night soon. Uh, but if you remind me on Monday or Tuesday, because I'm in the studio both of those days, Monday after around lunchtime, Tuesday, I should be in the studio all day. What I can do is I can go and find those Chaos Night boxes and I can pilfer all the ravens for you before he even gets a chance to build the knights, right? And you can have them all anyway. Fuck him. Uh, but this time round, we'll have to... The la You know the last package we sent to Martin... Yeah, it never got there. Never turned up. So this time we'd have to do like recorded delivery or something. Yeah. Just because I'm not having that happen again. Sometimes in the summer, if I'm putting the washing out, I can hear a calling pair of birds. And I think it's buzzards. It's likely. If it's in because the daytime, it's buzzards. Yeah, we've got the mo well, is it a motorway or a... It's a dual carriageway. Dual carriageway. Yeah. So you get like your thermal lifting there, plus the new forest. And it's a calling pair. Yeah, it'll be that'll be buzzards, and it'll yeah. be like a car. Yeah, buzzards. Yeah. yeah, that was my best impression. <laughs> Kaka, Kaka. That's my best impression. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, there's also tawnies around here, and you sometimes hear barn owls too. Yeah, I think when you came with us one time, you heard a tawny. Yeah. In the wooded bit. Tawny, <clears throat> the, the traditional twit too. It's tawny yeah. owls. Yeah. Fun fact, chat. That means there's two. Yeah, twit and twoo. Twit's the, the shout. Twoo is the response. And Normally you, means it's a mating pair. If you're walking past. Um, uh, like a copse area and you see um, a tree with white paint it's not paint it's whitewash from owls shitting so there'll be owls living in or around that tree yeah in my garden this morning we had a sparrowhawk fucking love a sparrowhawk I like the harpy so much I married her <laughs> <laughs> are those the people around here that are falconers using for work like rodent removal or dump or something is that common over there yeah I mean when when I used to work in rail depots have a real problem with with pigeons getting inside rail depots and used to call a, a falconer in and he'd bring in a hawk and it would either kill or chase out the the, the pigeons in the depot it's quite common uh they use them uh, they use they often employ falconers around heli uh, um hospitals specifically with helicopter landing pads airports they use falconers because they'll scare because bird strikes are lethal to aircraft so you know what do the trees look like that Joe, that Joe uses? They've died, Dane. <laughs> They've died. They've shriveled and died, There's mate. There's no whitewash on those. Right, chat. We have got 24 minutes of a stream left. Uh, the members' gifting stopped, and there's still grey names in chat. Look at Harry P, right? 
Where Harry P? He's still a great name. Talking about his hive. He wants two hive crones, a flying hive turret, 20 gargles on the table, which is fucking amazing, right? And you've left him as a great name. Get him involved. Get Harry involved in the channel team. All right, this is me now saying, give other people a chance to join us. I'm not, I'm not begging here for money for saying, get me up to 100 members. I'm saying, give other people memberships. Chat, it's kind, right? Can I gift any yet? No, YouTube was supposed to turn on this thing. No, YouTube was supposed to turn on this thing where I could gift memberships for free. Like five gifted memberships at a time. It's not let me do it. Dane, thank you for the gifted. Yeah. They use me in central London to keep pigeon numbers down. Yeah, exactly. I used to work for an office in Staines that once a month a falconer would come around to get rid of the mice. 100%. Falconry, one of the most ancient arts in British history, still being used today. And actually, the type of bird of prey you had back then was a status symbol. Mm hmm. Hironzo says, exclamation mark, snipe me. Look at that. He wants to be a cool kid. We're all cool kids here, talking about birds of prey and warhammer. <laughs> On the green next one, we have about 50 and they come up to us. What, pigeons? Rats. Yes, thank you for the gifted, you're a legend. Josh has it. He did it on it. Do I have to turn it on then? Maybe I just haven't turned it on. Because we are very lucky that we get all the features early. Memberships. Yeah, we get all the features early, so... Maybe it's just something I haven't turned on yet. Giving branded content. Supers. No. Branded con. What's this brand content nonsense? Oh. Supers. Memberships. Shorts feeds ads. Watch page ads. Overview. It doesn't. There's nowhere where I can turn it on. <coughs> Let's tick that one off the list. Uh, yeah. I don't have it. If I do have it, I don't know how to do it. Did he actually get free ones, though, Stick Monkey, or did he literally just pay for them? Because it's not on my thing at all. Customization. Edit channel. Branding. Basic info. Layout. I don't. Top community clips shelf now available. Expansion of channel permissions. Upcoming changes to community guidelines and warnings. Uh, mobilize your audience for a cause. Creator Insider. YouTube algorithm plus Mr. Beast thumbnails. No, thank you. I'd rather deep throat a cactus. Yeah, I can't find it. I don't know if he. Maybe he actually paid for it, Sean. Kakorgako, amazing. Buckshot, thank you for five gifted. Rum o'clock, thank you for one gifted. You people are amazing. Did we get the person? I don't know if we got the person. Free ones from Islam. Was it definitely free ones though? Because YouTube spoke about that coming. Maybe they're not going to give it to us. Maybe you lot just gift too much. And they're like, yeah, people like Warhips and need the help. Meh. Brian, thank you for the one gifted. Yeah, it's moving again, Loose. Everyone's woken up. New Zealand used to have a giant eagle, the largest, largest eagle known to have existed with an estimated weight of 15 kilograms, 30, 33 pounds. It's a big old eagle, that, isn't it? Cool, yeah. Have you seen, you must have done actually, have you seen the Stellar Sea Eagles at the Hawk Conservancy? Yes. A fucking beak to bite your hand off. I know. Jesus. Liam just wants to know. No, I can't find it. I would show you it all, but I don't really want to show you the behind the scenes of um, YouTube because some things need to stay a mystery. Interestingly, we're talking about falconry and we're up to uh, like 190 people. Stop talking about falconry. Down to 168. Look at that. We are a falconry channel now, chat. I don't have it. Any oh, what's this? What's this one here? Ooh. Enable monetization to insert ads. No, I don't want to. I don't want to insert ads. Super chat, super sticker. I don't super chat to myself. That's as bad as Luce doing it. I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. Uh, so yeah, maybe I don't want to after all. But thank you so much, Brian, for the gifted. Thank you so much, Buckshot, for the five. Rum, Eston, and Dane for the one gifted as well. Up to 85. You people are incredible. I love you. Thank you so much. You're amazing. You're awesome. You're heroes. 15 away. 
from hitting the target almost every night this month. They missed the target last night as well by 14. Well, you know, they've been they've been good to us. We can give them a couple of nights off. These eyes are from stress. Birds, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Kev. <laughs> Birds, isn't it? There you go. That's the stream Birds, done. Birds, it? Birds, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Got to be a thing for that level of insight. Sometimes he shows us graphs and Jill loves them more than a raffle. I mean, I don't know. She bloody loves a raffle. <laughs> you do get a little bit more behind the scenes things than anybody else does. You do get to see some interesting thing. But you'll also notice when I show lots of the graphs and stuff, I, I always cross out the revenue stuff because I think it's in poor taste. Great idea for a Thanes day. Hunt the Thanes with a hawk. <laughs> Some of them aren't getting very fast, Meg for Brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have to have members content for that mem option to be available? I mean, we still have members content. That's a, that's a thing. I don't think so. Because you, you, you gift it during a live stream. So I don't think you have to have members content available. I just don't know where the option is to do it. I might, I'll have to Google it later. But, meh. Gordon Ramsay on one of his shows back in the day went hunting with a golden eagle, hunting rabbit. Uh, they pierce the cranium to immobilize them. Yeah, they do, yeah. If you don't get, if they don't get their head, then you have to get in. Like, I've done this. It's fucking grim. But if you don't, if they don't get the head and they get like the, like slightly down, low down the shoulder, you have to get in there with a knife and go through the head quick because yeah. you don't want the rabbit biting the hawk. Because yeah. we've had hawks that have had to have talons amputated after being bitten by things like squirrels and rabbits. Was it was it your friend Dean that um, his hawk caught a rabbit, but it was a mixy rabbit? Yeah, a hawk got bit, had to be put down eventually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris, second to five gifted, yay! Got stuck painting DA Scout squad, Carly Condor. Carly Condor. Right, thank you for the two. I've forgotten what she sounded like. I once witnessed two old condors trying to compete for the attention of a juvenile female, and it was too young to understand what the old perverts were doing as they danced around it. <laughs> Power washing with feet cam content only in Thanes. That happened. Oh, did you? Jill, wa Jill wanted real life power wash simulator, so I attached the phone to the power washer, videoed it, and put it in the only Thanes. <laughs> They got very stressed that I was doing it whilst wearing white trainers. Yeah. <laughs> but, as I reminded them, they, they don't think outside the box, these things. Because then you have to wash the trainers. Because then I get the pleasure of washing the trainers. Mm -hmm. Where well, you're watching birds are at a strip club. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Chris, anyway, for five. I think you've already gifted five as well, you legends. So thank you for 10 gifted tonight, man. You're an absolute hero. We have got just 10 to go, chat, before we have made the target for Friday. Then I just need to hear more Amy Thunderbolts because we're well behind on that. Sounds like most nightclubs. I mean, I'm glad. Do you know what, babe? Mm. Do you know often one of the reasons why I'm so glad we're in a long and happy marriage? 13 years this chat, this year, chat, we would have been married. Next month, 13 years. The thirtieth is actually a Thursday. Oh, is it? Yeah. So we've got I two options. It was a Tuesday. So two options, or maybe it's a Tuesday. I think it's a, it's, it's a Tuesday or a Thursday. We've got two options though. Option one is that I take the night off and and we do something for our wedding anniversary. Option number two is loose plays on stream. It's a Tuesday. Yeah. Well, then where, where are the boys? Oh, I'll worry about that later. Demogorgon, thank you for the one gifted. Morty Hammer, thank you for the ten gifted. Amazing. You people are amazing. I love you. You fucking heroes. Thank you so much for eleven gifted taking us over that total. You're amazing people. I love you dearly. Well, I mean, you hadn't agreed to come and play yet, so. But it's, it's, to be honest, before I went out of us, I should probably just take the night off instead. Probably. But I reckon if you played on stream, we'd beat the record. But I don't know how to play. It wasn't even just Joe. <laughs> Or Brom, for that matter. And you tried to you tried to teach me, and I think time stood still. I don't I don't have the hours in me again. But I, I often think about our long and happy marriage. I have to keep saying those words. It's contractually obliged. And um and I think to myself, what's one of the what's what's the things I'm most grateful for? There's a fair few actually. There's a fair few things I'm grateful for. I think if I didn't if I wasn't married to you at this point, I probably would have wasted away because I forget to feed myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd probably smell worse. 
because they're often just i have a magical there's a magical rocking chair in our bedroom and you put clothes on it and then it ends up in your drawer clean it's like that aussie coffee table <laughs> and then uh, the other thing i think about is dating in the modern day fuck that shit it was bad enough when i was like 17 18 and you go into nightclubs and you like <laughs> I was like, I, that was nightclubs, right? And and it was actually pretty normal at that point to offer to buy a, a member of the opposite sex a drink and, and start talking to the nightclub. Don't do that anymore. No, no, no. The first time you meet someone nowadays, you already know everything about them. Everything. Because you've been talking to them on some weird app for the last three months after you had to do some swiping to, to contractually agree that you both like each other. It's weird. I don't want... I don't, I... <laughs> if you leave me now, I am going to be a, a single hobo. I believe you. It's facts. <laughs> I've got. I've not got the energy for it nowadays. To all you single people out there right now in 2024, I genuinely feel for you. It's a fucking. It's a terrifying world. Terrifying. I, Everything's a digital contract before you've even met each other. I think if I was single now, I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably just stay single. Loose plays on stream. I'm getting excited about it. Hobby hangout tomorrow night in Discord voice chat half nine ish. Come say hello. Tell us what you're being. Sounds good. Sounds good. Make sure you put out an everyone message again, Mr. The, Mr. The Dave. You're a legend. Only, only thing long in your marriage. <laughs> wow. Na na ya ah na ya ah na 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 ya na. You've been thunderstruck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the. <laughs> I I know the song as well. ACDC. Great song. We used to use that on Field Gun. Did you? That's what you used to walk out to. ACDC Thunderstruck at Fieldgum. Oh, nice. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Oh, my God, Buckshot. What are you playing at? What a fucking legend. Wow. Mate. 20 quid would have done it. You know, that's fucking phenomenal. Thank you so much, you absolute hero. A big red one is always a special occasion. You're a legend. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for the for the hundred. You'd also you've also gifted, man. That's too much. Too buku. You also gifted five chat. Look at that. Buckshot carrying the stream. Thank you so much, man. What a legend. I'm on the wrong side of 45 and divorced. I'll die alone. Yeah, but probably happy at that point as well, Dark, alright? And richer. And Mudri. <laughs> yes. I always say that, don't I? If we didn't marry, you'd if we if we didn't get married, I'd probably have a career or a vocation. <clears throat> I don't think I'd have the. If boys. we if we broke <clears throat> up now, Luce, I'd be using this a lot more. <laughs> this is simple as that. Fuck the dating world now. Not interested. Not interested. <laughs> Let's catch up with chats as well. Thank you so much, Buckshot. You fucking legend. That's too kind, man. That's too much. Too buku. Too buku. If you're spending that kind of money as well, are, are you a Thane? Not now. Don't upgrade now because what you've done. But next month. The words of the devil taste my lightning f and hashtag cur. <laughs> Thank you so much, Garth. That you're a hero for the team. Um, but like, I often think about this as well. As some people, I'm like, you, you, you probably could just be a Thane and be in the WhatsApp chat. It'll cost you less. Mm. Not that I want to encourage that necessarily, because it costs you less, I make less. But you, you see what I'm well, saying? You're not supposed to advertise a cult. It's not a cult. Not a cult. Hashtag not a cult. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I'll probably be hobbying in voice most of the time. That sounds nice. I might do it. I might be in the morning, maybe sometime after in the afternoon. I'd like to say it depends on how many beers I have at the pub, but I'm driving, so it won't be many. So if I do get home and I start getting the paintbrushes out on the trim here, Dave, I might <clears> jump <throat> in for a bit as well. I might jump into my own Discord voice chat for a bit. There's on a date night? No, afternoon. Listen, woman. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. This is how Hello. we've lasted 13 years. <coughs> this is how we've lasted 13 years. He just doesn't fucking listen to me. What's the Thane threshold? It's it's a membership tier, Dane. If you if you click on the membership icon, if you click on the dollar sign in the bottom right -hand corner of the chat, click on the membership sign. Uh, if you're already a member, it will give you levels you can upgrade to. Um, Thane tier is is not cheap, but a lot of the Thanes don't ever want to leave. In fact. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna advertise the only things. Well, we'll stop it then. What are you doing? What are you doing, you lunatic? <clears throat> What's your name in things? Because I use people's real names in things, and that's weird. So I always like the amount of times I said to a person, 
if you upgrade to the thing, they're like, I'm in the thing. So I'm like, yeah, but I use your real name in there. I don't know what your actual YouTube name is. <laughs> Stop it. Thank you. Stop it. Enough. Sometimes I wish YouTube had a refund button. Boop. What's the dollar value? But thanks for the explanation. Will it not show you though in your, like if you click it, will it not show you in your currency? What it is? I am a Thane. You are a fucking legend. Is what you are. Box shot. Missing the 81. Mmm. Thanks to the cult. It's one of the most welcoming cults you're to be part of. And they're all amazing people. We love them dearly. What you get? What would they get tonight? They get a fact or, or folklore. Either one. Well, I don't know. I don't have folklore. I've, I've found old laws. Mm. He's insane. <laughs> I get it. It's Megan <laughs> Rain. Right, chat. What do you want? Do you want? Let's do, oh, we're, we're, we're going to do it officially this time, right? Start a poll. Do you want anal? Fact or law? Is that what we're calling it? Uh, yes. There we go. Pack it in! Puckshot! Fuck me! <laughs> Jesus! I am one of the J's. Right, okay. Thank you so much. You're fucking unbelievable. You've doubled the Super Chat total twice, basically. Near enough. Thank you so much, man. What a legend. Make more money as a cult leader, but have more fun as a cult follower. Creed the office. 100%. Uh, both hit both goals. We did. Government names are overrated. They are. I like... The thing is, though, I try and do it with a lot of people. It's hard with the channel in general, right? We're, you can see now, this side, you can see now, 31,111 subs, right? When I have people regularly come into stream and there's names that show up quite frequently, I try and learn, I try really hard to learn something about them. Mm -hmm. um, moreover, what I, what I often try and do is I try and learn a person's name if I can. Um, I, it's not, it's not always possible. So I, one of the reasons why I try and learn, I always learn, I, I got, got taught this thing before, back in management. If you learn a specific fact about an individual, and then you, you learn their name at the same time, you can often link those two things together and it makes the name easy to remember. So Adrian is in chat, for example. I am one of the Jews. Thank you so much, Buckshot, for the 20. Ad, I mean, Adrian's name is, is Adrian, but it was very easy to remember his name was Adrian because also he has the twins. Mm -hmm. So that's a fact that I remembered about him, you know. Um, Stick Monkey, his name's Sean. He is in control of the whole of the UK's internet. Mm -hmm. Not strictly 100% true, but that's a fact I knew about him from a long time ago. So these are the things I learn about people. So I can, because I, I think that, here's an here's a, here's a interesting fact, right? I live in this, this weird headspace. I want the channel to grow and I want it to keep growing and I want it to be good, right? But I was watching Dr. Disrespect earlier before we went live and he had 20,000 people watching him and his fucking chat was like a machine gun belt feed. I, I kind of don't ever want to be there. Yeah. Because I think part of what makes the channel and the community and the cult beautiful is the fact that we have this back and forth and this banter and we talk to each other and I recognise the Beths and the Tonys and the Stick Monkeys and the Cornet Eds. I recognise all these names. So because I recognise all these names, I think if the chat was going, Brrr, it would become less personal for those people. And, I, and I'm terrified that that ever happens. And I hope it doesn't, um, <coughs> if I'm honest with you. Um, so I want growth without it being mental like i don't i would never it sounds it sounds like a silly thing to say genuinely sounds like a silly thing to say i would never want a mr b size channel ever no. i don't want it first of all I, I, there's too much money to spend but secondly I, you just there's no actual genuine connection <laughs> first time catching the st ream after payday just saying uh -huh. thanks for all the content Kaladin, thank you so much for the five you're a legend thank you for the five man you're a hero it all, all, all helps. It all goes a long way. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have just finished my Lego bouquet flowers. You two are soul birds, soul mates Aww. for eternity. Thanks, Beth. So remember Beth, because her other half met me and Adrian at Warhammer World and left her at home and said, oh, I had to take a detour on the way home. <laughs> so remember these facts about people. I remember these facts about people. Thanks for the 10, Beth. You're a legend. Richard says, I've never done anal. We remember that fact. <laughs> Trouble is, it's too general. Uh, 
Amazing. You don't want your community to be like Dr. Disrespect. Well, no, there's that as well. But I, I was I was talking more about the kind of size and speed darker than like the actual kind of... Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a whole different thing, you know. Hobby House is going to get a liquor license so we can pop some meat together. Yes, Hobby House is going to get a liquor license, 100%. Uh, those chats aren't chats, it's stadium noise. Exactly, that's what I don't want, right? Thanks is totally not a cult on it. Should I be disappointed that Liam doesn't know fact about me? Tell me who you are and I bet I, I, bet I can. I found my tribe. You actually interact and read the chat. Others do not and they suck. I mean, it started because... I'll be honest with you, Brian. It started because the channel, its audience was small enough that it was the only way we could make content. Really. I was surprised you knew my name on Saturday. Then I remembered I was wearing a self-written name badge. <laughs> uh, amazing. You were, actually, yeah. Yeah, everyone had a name badge on. Thanks, Kaz, you're a hero. Um, but yeah, so um, the thing is, Brian, when we started doing live streaming Talking Heads, I took genuine... Uh, inspiration, I, I'll use the word inspiration, from Valrak. I, I'd been watching some of his Talking head stuff, which basically really peaked during lockdown. And he had great interaction and banter with his community. I was like, it's great content. And if you, go if you have good banter and good interaction with your community, you can actually arguably go on stream without having anything to talk about. Mm. And the chat can make it a good stream for an hour mm -hmm. and a half. Um, so I don't really want to come on stream and go, strap yourselves in. I'm going to give you an hour and a half of lore on the Alpha Legion. You're like, oh, fucking hell. He's just, like, that's <laughs> dull shit, isn't it, really? Um, so when we started and we were going out to 20, 30 people, and I mean literally 20, 30 people at the start, what I did was, I was like, I'm just going to interact with you guys. Like, we're going to have a, maybe perhaps a topic to talk about. You're going to give me your opinions, and I'm actually going to listen to your opinions and take your opinions on board. I'm going to talk about your opinions as well. We talk about my opinions, right? So and that and that makes chat, chat feel like they're part of the conversation. So some I think too many people go and go. This is my opinion, and I don't care what you say, chat. This is my opinion, and I'm like, now the amount of times I've listened to what you guys have said and gone, actually, I think I might, I might change my mind, right? And as it's grown, I've tried to keep that, and it can be harder. It can be harder and harder when there's three, four hundred people watching to um, to actually keep doing that and keep it that genuine. And I've had to get. I, I've had to get genuinely good at reading chat, keeping up with chat, and I have to, like, I'll read a comment and I'll pin it in my mind, so if I need to scroll back up to it, and I do constantly scroll back up, what you can't see is my hands on my mouth all the time. And I scroll back up to see comments that I, oh, I've got, I've got a thing I want to talk about, because I saw that comment and I need to, you know, like, I remember Dave B up in the, up in the chat earlier said, my name is Malcolm, and he's lying. His name's actually not Malcolm, it's Dave. And his name's Dave B. But that was a comment that's like, you can't see it on the screen anymore. You have to kind of bank those yeah. because then you have that interaction because you you can't just shout it out in the middle of something. It kind of has to be natural as well, which is interesting. Community engagement is probably the most attractive element of this channel, 100%. Thank you, Sra See, Scrounge King's a new member who's saying that as well. We're doing it right. <laughs> We're doing it right. This is why I keep coming back to this channel and become a Yarl, even though I nearly always watch on demand. I keep coming back for the caring people. P.S. Thanks for letting let me post the link in Discord. Cloud, uh, his friend i think is the right word is running the london marathon and there's a just giving page he's posted in discord today for a charity that uh he's running for check it out if you're interested it's a small niche charity but small niche charities need help as well so check it out thank you cloud thank you for becoming a yard here as well you're a hero mm. dang skippy thank you for the one this is what makes talking heads the best feels like everyone is a part of it i try and make sure everyone is a part of it why are you writing ones and twos? Why is that in there? Have you noticed that your law, law and fact is like 52, 48%? I know, I just haven't looked. At this point, you kind of have to do both. I'll do both. Yeah, I think you kind of have to do both. <laughs> I think I think I do it on purpose. <laughs> I bet they all message each other before I go, well, we need to make it 50 50 so we get both. <laughs> That's what's going on, right? Okay. Yes, sir, I haven't missed a stream since my first one. Really? We stream every night. Yeah, every. Have you. Honestly, scrounge again. Every night we stream. Every night, Monday to Friday, without fail, and Thursday, uh, we do it at lunchtime as well. Why are you writing numbers? <laughs> Who started numbers? We're not doing numbers tonight. No numbers. Anyway, it is at ten o'clock at night, which means it is the end of Forty K After Dark for this evening. Thank you so much, you wonderful people, for all of the super chats and gifted memberships. But it wouldn't be the end of a stream without Luke Fact and Luke Law. Which one are we doing first? We'll do the law first. Law first. Mm -hmm. So, 
We started off with Luke fact ages ago, right? And if you're new to the stream and you haven't watched for a while, it's very simple. Luce tells us a fact. We have to work out whether it's actually a fact. So it's a, a fact that Luce has told us, or whether it's a loose fact. And that is not really true. It could be a bit of bollocks. Often it's the latter. <laughs> Spoiler alert, often it's the latter, right? Okay. After we've done that for a while, people got a bit like, oh, they get the book ran out of facts. But now she's taken to Google, the source of all knowledge. Uh, so we started Folk Luke, Floor, Law, Luke. Basically, we've got a map with loads of random old oh, English folklore. No, I've changed it now. I yeah, know. We basically we had a map with loads of old English folklore, and it was not it was it was true stuff, but it's folklore that people might not have heard of. And and now again we've taken to Google. <laughs> so now, any country in the world that has random laws. Yeah, literally actual random laws. Random laws. Yeah. Okay. Stop putting numbers in chat. Fuck you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuck you all. Anywho, right. So, we're going to do law first. Mm -hmm. I'm worried you're going to get interrupted by buckshots. I'm just going to wait a few minutes. Okay. He's making the stream last longer, chat. You can thank him. All right. My six-year-old wants a drink, uh, and I've told her to wait while I listen to Lucy's facts. <laughs> your, your priorities, Stephen, are in fact correct. You are in fact correct. Right, okay. Okay. If I press this button, Buckshot's going to interrupt you, by the way. Are you okay being interrupted? Or do you want to just wait? Um, They're important moments, these moments, Luce. Okay, I'll wait. <clears throat> Who's a blubbermouth? Oh, okay. So we've worked out that Thanes is totally not a cult honest is in fact Christopher Samford because he posted the message from the wrong, from the wrong account, deleted it, and then reposted the same message from the same account. You've been found out, Christopher! You fucking slipped up! She sat with me. Sorry, don't say those words. They're naughty words. You shouldn't say fuck or bugger. You shouldn't say those words. You shouldn't say those words. War kind of wants a membership as well, chat. You've got some time. What's going on? Why is she not reading this one out now? Can I make her read it? Make her. I won't make her read it. I didn't know you could see that. Looking forward to Hobby House as you are only a ridiculously expensive ferry <laughs> ride away. I can't wait for Hobby House as well. Chris is Chris. Damn it, I didn't know you could see that. I am the god of the channel, Chris. I see everything. I see all of the deleted messages. I see what was deleted. I see everything. Don't you worry, I see everything. Right, are you ready? Uh You've had an extra three minutes here. Yes, I'm ready. In Louisiana, it's illegal for a woman to drive a car without her husband waving a flag in front of it beforehand. That seems smart, I'll be honest. <laughs> I knew you'd say that just seems that just seems clever. <laughs> That's common sense. Louisiana that? ahead of the game. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Everybody, she is driving. When we when we drive around, <laughs> when we drive around, Luce and I play. They're very because Luce doesn't have a driving license. Chad, I don't know if you know, we're one of the safest households in the Britain because she <laughs> doesn't have a driving license, right? When we're driving around, we like to play the game guess the driver, <laughs> and I am ninety percent of the time correct. Yeah. Like old man, oh, it's an old man, middle aged woman, middle aged woman, like so easy. Yeah. Yeah, we play that game a lot. <laughs> Louisiana, ahead of their time, <laughs> on the ball. If you're in Louisiana, I'm a fan of it. Is that like a current law still? Uh, well, it's all in present tense, apparently. <laughs> Sean, I'm from Louisiana. <laughs> True fact. Should be law in every country. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So. <laughs> mm. So there we go. That's the that's the random piece of law. <laughs> have you seen? If I end the poll now, have you seen? Have you seen the results of the poll? Uh, no. It's going to be announced in chat right now. Oh, it's 50-50. Literally 50-50, right? Okay, so that was our random law. And now we have our loose fact. Beavers were once the size of bears. Fuck off! There's no way! Imagine I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. I turned myself into a large robot for a brief moment because I got too excited. <laughs> There's no way a beaver was the size of a bear. But how big were the bears? Have oh. the bears grown and the beavers stayed the same? Oh, you've got me there. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, our beavers are just actually all of them. They've never, never been any new beavers. They've just got really old and they've shrunk. Yeah, except for their ears get bigger. Beavers were the size of bears. <laughs> what bear? Like a grizzly or a Ted polar bear? A teddy bear. A polar beaver. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Well, there you go. What are we saying, chat? Is that a loose fact or a loose fact? Which one is it? <laughs> Liam, may I confirm? This is because I have a voice changer chat, so I can turn myself into a large robot like this. It's a horrible noise. Or I can go into pitch up and just basically sound like Eddie. There you go, see? <laughs> do robot voice again. We also have... Uh, what else do we have? We have the radio voice, so we can sound like a radio. We have the monster voice, so we can sound like a monster. And we have the voice disguise, so we can do voice disguise. But the pitch up is probably my favourite. Prehistoric beavers. <laughs> <laughs> she said beaver, stickers, niggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> my wife be my wife's beaver's a bit of a grizzly. Wow. <laughs> Kazari says bollocks. It was actually about five beavers in a trench coat. <laughs> right, anyway. You people are amazing, as always. The support this week has... Buckshot, fuck off! <laughs> Do I have to put you in a timeout so you can't super chat anymore? Fuck off! So needy. Mate, you're incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, I was about to wrap the stream up, but I have to wait for this to come through now as well, which is... Um, which is interesting. Thank you so much for the incredible support from all of you tonight. Thank you for all the gifted memberships. We got to 101 new members tonight at the Friday Night Crew, which is insane. I love you. Um, Super Chats have been smashed out the park. Mostly thank to Buckshot. Look at, look at the top of the chat. Chat, look at that. All Buckshot. Look at him. Look at him go. True. They were called Castriodes. Amazing. That's a word to Google. There you go. So thank you so much. Wargunner is still giving it the snipe, by the way. Still trying to be sniped. Corner Ed jumps in with five gifts at the end there to try and snipe Wargunner and fail. Thank you for five more. Putting us on 106 of the finest new members. Amazing. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Incredible. Right. Um, I hope... I, I actually also... Here's a, a little aside for literally just two minutes. I actually think the new schedule is starting to work for us, isn't it, as well? The early times. We, it was a, the first week was a bit shit. Second week's been a bit better. Only shit because... We weren't ready in time. I was racing in the last minute after just eating dinner, and now we're kind of getting used to it. It's actually nice. Thank, like, genuinely, 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 a schedule change for a streaming channel is a big risk. It's always a big risk because, like, do people turn up because it's a convenient time? And when we move all the time, the less people are going to turn up. So the fact that you are all turning up still to these streams with an adjusted schedule, and you're still gifting, and you're still super chatting, and you're still being involved, and you're still liking, although we're only on 143 likes, and you're still liking, and you're still like just being there as part of the chat is is genuinely incredible, and it's humbling. So thank you so much. You people are amazing. Thank you for an incredible week of support. We're now going to go into the weekend, and like I said to you at the start of the stream, I'm actually going to get a little bit of a chilled weekend, weekend little bits here and there that I'm going to do hobby-wise and business-wise, but on the whole, it's not a stressful weekend for me, before War Hips and Lands on Monday. So we'll be back with content on Monday evening, something at 7.30. Something. Olivia says, stop swearing. Olivia, tell your father he's irresponsible allowing a six-year-old to be awake. This time. Is Ben still awake upstairs? Yeah. Disregard everything I just said. It's fine. It's normal. It's good parenting. Um, so Monday, Warhip is going to be here. We're going to do something at 7.30. We're either going to do a hobby stream in the studio, we're gonna do it, or we're going to do a Liam and Josh show, or we're going to do a game that's most unlikely. A... Uh, 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 what's the word? Age of Sigmar game. We might do an Age of Sigmar game. We might do an Age of Sigmar game because Kyle said he'll come and produce it for us, but we have no idea what we're doing. So it'll be a Liam Learns live on stream, which also could be lots of fun. Uh, and then Tuesday, we are recording a pre-recorded show like we did with James from Siege with Mr. The War Hipster. Thanes, I'll be putting the questions thread live tomorrow in WhatsApp so you can ask him your specific questions for Mr. The War Hipster in the show we're going to be doing on Tuesday. Tuesday night will be another live game of Age of Sigma with Josh before he goes home on Wednesday. Wednesday we'll be back with the 40k show. Thursday will be the Liam and Joe show and another live game of 40k. Thursday, uh, Friday back with yet another 40k after dark. Six 40k streams a week every week. All free of charge. <coughs> which is why we do a little bit of begging, right? Because they're all free of charge. Okay? 
You people have been amazing. Anything you want to say before we go, Lise? No. Nope. You sure? Yeah. Nothing? No. Nope. At all? No. Nope. Have you looked for bear-sized beavers? No, no. Actually, yet. don't Google that. Don't Google that. <laughs> that makes it worse. God Thank knows. you so much for watching. No, no, Demogorgon. AOS won't have a top down. Fuck you all. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>